Hi Joe, this is Jenna Marie, and this is a video tutorial based upon the Software Composer, which is a free software that will help you edit your website. So first things first, let's go ahead and download Composer. Go to www.composer.net. Once there, you're going to download it for Windows. The download should start automatically. If not, then click Direct Link. And I suggest saving it to your desktop so that you can find it easily. So go ahead and scroll up to the desktop, click Save. Now you'll see it pop up on your desktop. There it is online, I just have another monitor. So now all you have to do is right click on it and you can just extract here, or extract the files here. It'll automatically go into a separate folder. And here's the folder. So now you can right click this and delete it. So you'll no longer need it. Double click on the composer file. And scroll down until you see Composer. I'm just going to go ahead and double click it and it will start automatically. You're not even going to have to install anything. Now, I've already opened up your site um, on my computer so it already recognizes um, it already recognizes your site here in the sites that I've edited. Now, in order to edit a website, what we're going to do is we're going to select File, Open Web Location. Let's say you want to edit the first page, which is your index page. You're just going to go to http boogiefest.com and select Create. You'll see it comes up. You're not going to be able to edit the flash from here or anything like that, um, but you are going to uh, be able to edit any text and images. Um, now, let's say we'd like to go ahead and add um, click map to view directions. And I'm just going to highlight that and make it a little bit smaller. And you can use these controls up here on the top navigation to just make them smaller. Obviously, the uh, smaller text is the smaller is to make it smaller, larger to make it larger. You can also change the color right here. Let's change it to purple, nice theme color. All right. Now let's say we want to save it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File and then Publish. Publish as. Now I've already inputted all of your information, but what you're going to do is you're going to give the site a name. You're going to do new. You're first, you're going to go to New Site and give the site a name, and it's going to be Bayou and Boogie. In fact, you can name it anything that you want. Um, website information. You're just going to put in your web address. HTTP dot dot dash dash and Boogie test.com and your publishing server is just going to be FTP dot dot dash dash bayou and boogie test.com again now as you'll see in your email there is the username and password username being bayou and make sure you don't put any capitals in here it is uh, case sensitive bayou and boogie and your password is F and again case sensitive. I'm going to go ahead and save the password. Now I have already, like I said, I've already set it up. Uh, if you try to set it up twice, um, it might have conflicts. So just make sure that you only have one connection for each website. Um, the file that we're editing is the first page. So that means it's going to be index.html. You want to make sure that you always name it, or else it will prompt you if you don't name the name the page. And you want, do want to make sure that you're publishing it to the right file name. Um, 
if you don't publish it to the right one, then it could overwrite the other file and um, we will not be able to retrieve it from the server. So we're going to go ahead and press publish. And this little dialog box will come up and it has already published. So you can see the little green check mark there. Um, now if you'd like to edit images, you can just go ahead and scroll up here and you can insert new image. Uh, open it in your file directory so it brings you up to uh, your documents or your images. Uh, you can even put in tables and forms. Um, if you could uh, make, I, I wouldn't touch the uh, CSS editor too much. Um, I mean if you'd like to change the color of the background then you can play around with it and everything. And if you have any questions then I can teach you how to do that as well. Um, and you can also see how now that I'm connected to the server I can check out all of the um, files as well. So I can go ahead to images and see what we have for images in here. Alright, so that's it for the tutorial. Uh, if you have any more questions, then just give me a call at 401-617-4659 or you can email me at info at Thank you and I hope this was very helpful.